everyone, so apologies if my hair looks a little bit crazy, this is kind of second day hair that I had up this morning and then I took down and it's just kind of looking a little bit messy. But um, on with today's topic. So hands up if your New Year's resolution was to lose a little, little bit of weight and get in shape and all that kind of thing. Go to that saying, it's that time of year where that's all we want to do and it's also the time of year where you kind of overindulge the most over the Christmas period and that kind of thing. You kind of eat too much chocolate and drink a little bit too much booze and end up just putting a little bit of weight on. Now I am going to kind of talk about my kind of personal experience and my personal plan as well as just some kind of general tips as well and um, just kind of like weight talk really. But I have put a little bit of weight on, not much, I've only put about two or three kilos on, or well, three kilos is a lot, that's like half a stone, God, that is a lot. Um, but I've probably put about two or three kilos in. My weight really, really fluctuates anyway. So my weight goes from around 56, 57 kilos when I'm being really good to around 59, 60 kilos when I've kind of let loose. And that's what I've been doing recently. So kind of all of December and pretty much all of this month, I've not been very good. I've kind of just been eating what I want and I was away and I was eating kind of other people's food. So it was just not very healthy and I ate a lot and I really, really enjoyed it. So I've kind of come back and I know that I'm gonna be a little bit rounder than I usually am and it's not necessarily super obvious, you know, like it's not like any of my clothes are too tight or anything, but you just feel, I feel like I've got a little bit of extra on my tummy and like my arms feel a bit bulkier, my collarbones aren't as pronounced as they normally are. And you just feel it, you know your body well enough um, to know when you put a little bit of weight on. And it was just kind of celebrating over the Christmas period really that had caused it for me. So it's not too much of a problem, but, um, at the same time, when I was about 57 kilos, kind of just before Christmas, I did really want to get down to 55 kilos, which is eight and a half stone. That's kind of my goal weight that I'd like to be at and I feel like is kind of achievable, but still I'll look like me because, you know, I would love to like get down to eight stone, but it's just not very achievable for me and I'll have to work so hard at it and be so strict and I know some people like doing that and some people think that like that's true dedication and it is and if you can do that that's great but I know that for me it'll just make me miserable and it's not really something that I think will work. So um, I want to get down to 55 kilos, which basically means losing five kilos, which is about um, just under a stone. A stone, I believe, is 6.3 kilos. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, don't focus on the weight, focus on how you look and how you feel and all that kind of thing. And as I said, it is more about the weight because for me, I don't look that different at these different weights because my weight fluctuates anyway. I just feel a little bit softer and I know that at that weight is kind of when I look my trimmest. So that's what I want to get back to. And I... I haven't been exercising either at all while I was away. I kind of did a lot of walking, but not kind of proper working out. And I've just not been feeling it, and I've not really been feeling it with my diet either. I think a lot of it's to do with it being cold, and you just kind of get out of the habit of it. And we've had things um, lying around the house, like, you know, um, celebration boxes and things like that, which if you don't live in the UK, they're kind of like a box of different types of chocolate where you get... Um, like little mini Mars bars, mini bounties, mini Maltesers, the mini Maltesers are my favourite, and loads of things like that that we've had lying around the house, and I've just kind of been um, getting back to being back home and getting back to my regular routine and getting back to kind of just doing everything that you would normally do that I hadn't been doing while I was away because I was kind of staying with my mum, so, I, well, with my entire family. And um, I was kind of just eating her amazing food. And my mum's an amazing cook and she cooks everything from scratch. So it was like homemade bread every day and homemade pizzas and going out for dinner a lot and that kind of thing. And that's just something that I um, was kind of enjoying indulging in. And now I kind of need to rein it in a little bit because as sad as it is, I'm not the kind of person that can allow myself to just eat whatever I want and not suffer the consequences. Consequences? Consequences. Um, I need to watch what I eat because otherwise I put a little bit of weight on and I'm a little bit chunkier than I'd like to be. And you know, it's not necessarily, um, I'm not kind of sitting here saying like, oh, I'm so fat kind of thing. I still wear a size 10, but I just, you feel when you're a little bit rounder than you want to be. And I want to get back to kind of my regular weight. 
So like I said, I hadn't been working out or whatever, and I forced myself to do 30 minutes on the exercise bike today. I kind of eased myself in gently because I think if you kind of say to yourself, right, tomorrow I'm going to do 30 minutes on here, and then I'm going to do the third day shred, and then I'm going to go for a run and all these things, you're not going to do it. It's too daunting, and you're putting too much pressure on yourself. So that's kind of what I um, I decided to do, and it was okay. I kind of didn't love it, but I don't love exercising anyway. It's something that I just kind of get off my list. And I know a lot of people sort of say, if you make it part of your daily routine and you find something you enjoy, blah, blah, blah. I've tried so many different things. I don't enjoy it. It just isn't fun for me. I'm a lazy person and I make the effort to do it. So I'm still doing it. I just have to make myself do it. And that's okay. You know, not everybody can kind of have this wonderful, loving it approach um, when it comes to exercising. But I make myself do it anyway and it's okay. So I did that and then I'm going to slowly incorporate a little bit more. I'm going to start doing the 30 day shred again because that did have really good results and it does really kind of tone you up a little bit and I definitely need that because my body's just seriously, seriously lacking in tone. Um, my tummy's just very squishy and my bum's gotten bigger and you just generally kind of feel how your body's just kind of a little bit rounder and it's not too bad because it is winter now kind of thing and during the lead up to the summer we all get in shape and everything's okay because you know you need to dress a bit more revealing and that kind of thing but I don't want to let that happen I want to kind of be able to um just feel good and still maintain a sort of healthy weight but I feel like I need to eat more during the winter as well I'm just hungrier and I definitely do have some sort of dietary issues like we all have and mine is that I don't really eat any fruit at all and I know some people sort of say oh, fruit's got so much sugar in it and blah 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 but really fruit's a great snack but I just don't really like fruit I can kind of eat it if it's there but I'm not loving it and I need to incorporate more fruit I need to buy more fruit because what used to happen was I'd buy it none of us would eat it and then I'd end up throwing it away so I just stopped because I thought well it's not getting eaten anyway but I need to make an effort to eat it and then um, I'll feel better and I know a lot of people sort of say like make smoothies and all that kind of thing and I did do that for a while and maybe I'll start doing that again but I'm just not fantastic with fruit it just doesn't really do it for me and I need to make it um, better the other thing is kind of I love carbohydrates they're my absolute weakness give me bread and pizza and potato and just storage any day of the week and it's my favorite thing ever but I need to kind of get back to kind of eating more eggs and that kind of thing which I have been doing lately and eating vegetables and that sort of thing but when it's cold you just don't really want to and also I'm not the type of person that I don't absolutely adore cooking I can cook and I do cook because we need to eat and I cook um, kind of nice things because I want the food to taste nice but it's, I'm not passionate about it and it's not fun for me it's just like having to hoover kind of thing I need to do it so it's done and you know the outcome of it will be nice because we'll have something nice to eat but I don't love it and then when I go home and I don't have to do any cooking and I just eat delicious food that's served to me all the time then I don't want to cook when I get back because I've gotten out the habit and I'm just like mm. so it's really easy easy for me to just like heat up a pizza and I don't even like frozen pizzas but it's just easy for me to do it sometimes because I don't feel like cooking and that's really terrible like you shouldn't really go down that road because you're just kind of letting yourself off the hook when really you could you could do with giving yourself kind of some good nutrition and cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a big lentil soup today and um, just try and kind of have a big pot of that so I can just heat it up over the next few days and eat it. So I'm not necessarily worrying about cooking over the next few days, it kind of removes that from being an issue. And also try and just stick to kind of meals that you know that work. So for example, I know that like Ravitas with Philadelphia and cucumber and that kind of thing work for me in the, um, work for me like at lunch time to so stick to that and stick to kind of your normal breakfast and I've started using my fitness pal again just to kind of monitor what I'm doing um, and just stick to doing that really today's kind of the first day where I'm kind of feeling a little bit more motivated and that's the thing lacking motivation is just an absolute killer because you can't you can't do it if you don't feel motivated and it's cold and it's miserable and I've kind of not been having the greatest time lately and I just kind of wasn't really feeling it, but I need to because I know that I'll, I feel even worse when I feel like I'm just a little bit pudgy. 
so that's kind of my plan of action and I like I said want to kind of change my diet up a little bit and eat more fruit and eat better and kind of um just have treats like on weekends and things like that but not be so focused on it and I'm going to do a video about kind of the relationship we have and I have with food because I think it's a really interesting subject but um, we all want to kind of lose a little bit of weight in January and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of try and post updates maybe I'll do it on my blog maybe I'll do videos and that kind of thing but I'll post weight updates and um, just kind of let you know how I'm getting on. I might do kind of a before and after photo, but I don't know. I just really, really don't feel like kind of wearing a bikini or anything like that now to kind of show the before results. Not that I've, I haven't put that much weight on it. Don't look that different. It's just a feeling, you know, when you just feel it kind of thing. That's what I've got at the moment. So I'm going to try and kind of keep you updated on that kind of thing. And I'll try and kind of Instagram and emails and that that I'm having this week. I'm going to try and just stick to things that I know that work and have a lot of soup and things like that and just get myself back on track. And then next week kind of work on it a little bit properly. But I hope you found this helpful or interesting, or whatever. Any information or tips or things like that that you've got, I would love, love, love to know. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.